Right, so, so peer to peer is an important one. Um, then obviously we have um, we have a whole team who basically uh, uh, takes DVDs, takes tapes, uh, takes streams coming in, and then sort of like has to transcode that, have to like digitize that, make it available uh, available on the platform. That's not just sort of like getting the, the, the movies in. It also is sort of like making sure we've got descriptions. We know who the actors are. We know the titles. Um, we basically like know all the fun facts about it, so people can search for them. So people can find them. Um, so like a, another very like important technology is like basically the, cl the client. So basically the thing which runs on your PC. Um, that's also like based on, on something actually called Mozilla, which actually is the, is the same code being used by a lot of like web browsers. In our case, of course, it's not a web, web browser; it's, it's a TV browser. So really, or it's a TV basically. Um, but you'll see like some of that technology come in there. The reason why we used uh, uh, like this very open standard, open source basic component is first of all, it's much easier to like stand on the shoulder of a giant because you don't have to write it yourself. And we're we're not a thousand people; we're a lot less. So standing on someone else, their code is, is is really like beneficial. But it also means that a lot of people, like thousands, thousands of developers out there, they know exactly how to develop plugins, they know exactly how to like add little fun things in there or how to modify it. So basically we're not only giving the world sort of like a TV, we're also giving people a, a TV you can like play around with, you can add things into, you can modify, you can do sort of all sort of like yeah, things we're probably not, not expecting. We don't know exactly what know what people will do. But basically we expect like a whole range of, of plugins and overlays and modifications and so on. And that's something actually we want to encourage because in a way we sort of like want to make sure that when that TV sort of like becomes yours again, you kind of like get control over it. You basically control what you watch, how you watch it, what sort of things you do with it. So that's like another uh, important uh, piece of technology. Then finally in the middle uh, uh, sits something we call the, 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 the back office. Um, and really what that system is, it, it sort of like has like nice names like Tolbiak and Kato and, and so on. Uh, but what that really does, it's sort of like a, a giant sort of like global covering uh, um, uh, program guide. So basically all it knows like what programs are available, where, when they're available, how they're available, uh, allows you to go back in time, allows you to go forward in time. It knows about what what the actors are. Um, it, it can sort of like say like, hey, people who like this will actually like that other sort of thing. So basically, a recommendation engine, if you want. So those are kind of like are the main main technology we've we've got floating around. We have sort of like a, a handful right now of of, of little. Uh, little server stations around the world and what they sort of like do is the, the first time like someone asks for that little particular movie it asks us like from a, from a data center nearby and then sort of like from there on it sort of like sits in the peer-to-peer the -peer network. So is that like mirror, mirror sites? They're basically mirror sites, yes. They're very rarely used because once like people start watching stuff uh, in their in their area obviously of course you're going to get it from your friends in your area because it's much quicker to go to like your neighbor than it is to go sort of like to let's say some European capital where we sort of like got a data center. Um, but like if, if things are really really rare or hardly ever asked uh, or you are the very first one like you're getting that first like South Park episode or whatever else then obviously of course it needs to come from somewhere and that's what these little data standards uh, are coming from we call them long tail storage uh, because typically that's that's really what they are for making sure that if you are like one of those very few people in the world who actually like watch hair or a clip from Madonna or whatever else I mean yeah it needs to come from somewhere in the very first place so that's where it comes from